the pastel painting. This is like a chart. Chart pastel color. And this is a Conti crayon. Did you create these yourself? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, I did. That is remarkable. How did you develop such a skill? Uh, just on my own. But first of all, God gave me the talent. He gave me the will to do it. So I just enjoy every minute of it. When you preach something, when somebody gives you, you always have a happy face and a happy smile. A hidden gem full of original artwork sits in the heart of Jackson. I accidentally stumbled across this building earlier this week looking for another place. And what I saw was this, wall-to-wall -wall masterpieces. It turned out the stunning art here is created by people in the community with disabilities. The program is called Arts for All in Mississippi. It has about 35 student participants who all have varying types and degrees of disabilities. And they all participate in art. We teach art. Uh, we provide art instruction. We provide an opportunity for them to exhibit and sell their work. An opportunity for them to enter competitions. And several of our artists have, have won major competitions. There is a quote that says there is no intellectual or emotional substitute for the experience of confronting an original masterpiece. And that is exactly what one does walking down a corridor here. These art adorned walls are nothing short of incredible. Fantastic artists here. Some of our uh, artists have been coming to this program for 12 years and they, they come every week. When you have a disability, sometimes you feel isolated from social activities. Uh, you feel different when you're out among non-disabled people. You, you get a lot of overt uh, discrimination. This opportunity affords them a, a time to be themselves, to interact with other artists uh, and other artists that may have a disability, uh, to get uh, peer support and they, they, they consider themselves a family. It's, it's not just a community art group, it's a community art family. So I'm working on um, a picture of Jackson State. Uh, the medium is acrylic. Uh, eventually I'm going to switch to oils one day. Okay. But I have to, you know, get the courage to do that. What do you hope comes from this program here? What do you hope the people walk away with? A feeling of accomplishment, uh, pride in their work, uh, feel better about themselves, uh, being able to earn a little money here and there, uh, being recognized for their, for their work and not treated as a person with a disability, but in fact uh, encouraged to show their abilities. And that's how we treat people here, is we focus on their abilities and work around the disabilities. So this program serves a very um, uh, a necessary and a wonderful purpose here in the community. It, it surely does. It, 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 all you have to do is talk to some of our participants and they'll tell you how valuable this program is to their life. Uh, some of them might tell you if it wasn't for this program, I'd be in the hospital. I would be at, at home in my, in my room with the windows closed and the shades down. Artists here were even asked to illustrate a children's book. Mary Kitchens, his wife of Supreme Court Jim Kitchens, approached Tom about doing a book that she had written uh, about Christmas. And the book itself is about these uh, animals that decorate a Christmas tree. Each student was assigned a character. And as you can see, we have bears and raccoons and so forth. So each student had different characters to draw in different expressions and different positions. So we taught them how to draw characters to make them look the same throughout. And uh, then we put it all together on the page. So. What happened was that the students were able to participate in a larger project as a group and then they were brought together in the book itself. So the pride that they had of doing that project and then the night that the book was uh, published at an art gallery a couple of years ago, they were all sitting at a table dressed up like a Sunday morning 
and they were all very proud to be able to draw and to sign the books as authors and artists. Um, and you could just see the pride on their faces and it just did my heart really great and Tom's heart really great to see these students uh, of art to participate and be able to uh, sign off on their books like that. Half of book proceeds go to Camp Camisaw, a camp for children with disabilities, and the other half goes back into the Arts for All program. And then there's Chris, the resident service dog, bringing even more joy to the students. We have art showcased here in the uh, Mississippi Art Center uh, every day of the year. And two times a year we have special exhibitions. Currently we have an exhibition of about 130 works of art at the Municipal Gallery. It's on State Street down close to Fortification Street. Uh, the entry is off President Street. So even if you're not currently on the market for a brand new piece of artwork, come down here anyway and just enjoy what they're showcasing. Reporting in Jackson, Tara Thomas, 12 News.